Hey there, I'm Jordan Norris and welcome to The Rundown. Let's get to the top stories in real estate and get you on your way. A new survey shows that the cost of cyber insurance is skyrocketing. Premiums are up 25% during the second quarter of the year. And that's after they went up 18% in the first quarter. High profile ransomware attacks are driving up prices along with poor training and risk management on the part of the insured. In other digital news, Core Title Services just announced that they can accept cryptocurrencies for commercial and residential transactions using a payment system called BitPay. In August, Bitcoin was trading above $47,000 and early adopters are looking for ways to diversify by buying into real estate. The company has still yet to do a crypto transaction. Transactions for iBuyers are setting records. While they're using boring old cash, 1% of all purchases in the last quarter came from iBuyers. Those homes, 84% of which never went on the market before being sold to an iBuyer, will be hitting the market soon, which should help boost inventory. Zillow's COO says that even in such a hot market, sellers are interested in the ease of selling to the likes of Open Door, Offerpad, and Zillow Offers in lieu of dealing with open houses and the open market. I buy is not something 48% of all renters are thinking. A lending tree survey shows that almost half of renters worry that they will be renting forever. The largest group worried about their home ownership prospects are Gen Xers, who are anywhere from 40 to 55 years old. As home prices keep going up and wages stand still, their outlook isn't improving. On that depressing note, that's all for our show today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.